full brows have been on trend for a couple of years now. With the growing popularity of microblading, it doesn't look like the trend is going to go away anytime soon. If you're looking to boost your brows without a more permanent fix, makeup can be your best friend. We recently talked with Kelloland professional makeup artist Angelique Verver about ways we can achieve the ideal brow shape, color, and volume using makeup. Hi Angelique, how are you doing today? I am great, thank you, how are you? Hanging in there. We're talking about brows today. And this is something that became a lot bigger in recent years. I never used to care, actually I liked my eyebrows as thin as possible when I was growing up. But you're gonna teach us how to map it out and fill them in. So we're gonna walk through it, through this, and I just want you to start off by explaining how you map these out. Yes, so um, what you wanna do is you wanna start, so I'm gonna use this as a little eyebrow pencil that we're gonna fill in with later. But generally you wanna start like in the corner of your eye right here, and you wanna kind of take it straight up. And that's where your eyebrows should generally start at. Um, you can go a little bit further in, but the further in you go, a lot of times it comes down and it can actually change the shape of your face. Like it can make you look more mad, it can make you look sad, um, that type of thing. And then you wanna go up to about where your iris is at. And when you do that, that's about where you want your arch to fall at. So that's about where mine is at and through there. And then through the side, you want to go from the side of your nose to the side of your eye and take it all the way up. And that's about where you want your eyebrow to stop at. Because a lot of times if you go any further than that down, it can actually pull your eye down and make it look like it's visually like more droopy. So we don't want to do that. So we always want to stop it about right in there. Okay, so you're showing us this with your pencil. Is that what you recommend to use for filling in your brows? I know there's powders, people use eyeshadow, but what do you recommend to use? So there's a bunch of different things you can use. Um, I always start with powder. So this is mine. This is um, more of a pro thing because it's got all the different colors. But um, generally, if you start with a powder, you can fill it in really softly so you don't get like really super hard, dark, you know, or really solid brows. If you want them to be a little bit more transparent and a little bit more natural looking, you can use the powder. Um, and then you can go in and you can use like a pencil. So if you want to fill in, I'll just go through here and you want to do just tiny little strokes and kind of fill in where you might be missing those at and that'll make it just a little bit stronger and a little bit more filled in especially if you have some gaps that are in there and then of course we have brow <laughs> brow gel and so this is really good for like going in there and uh, let me open it real quick you want to take it and you just go in there and comb it in just like you would like your mascara and that's really good if you have um if you just want to fill in, you want to make your eyebrow hairs a little darker. It doesn't really do anything to the skin, but also too, if you have gray, like I have coming in, I don't it, see actually, it. it actually covers it up. So you don't pluck out the gray hair in your eyebrow, like just use like your eyebrow gel and cover it up and it works perfectly. And it actually works really good for the hair too, which I did not do. My gray is coming in because of the, because of the virus stuff that I have. I just decided not to color. So anyway, but yeah. We all just need to embrace it. <laughs> so, yes, we do. What tips do you have for people that maybe don't have as much eyebrow hair in front and they actually have to like draw those hairs in? How can you make that look natural? So what you want to do also too is um, you can use a, a brush like this. And let me see if I can get this to show up a little bit better. So this has got a nice angled tip on it. And you just want to go in there and tap it into your into your powder. And you want to do like little teeny strokes that mimic the eyebrow hairs and just go kind of straight up following where the hair growth is at. And by doing that, that will actually like make those little eyebrow hairs look more natural and to look real. So it doesn't look like it's just one solid, you know, flat eyebrow. And one thing I've noticed when I'm doing my eyebrows is like hair under my line. And I like that like clean, crisp line under your brow so how do you yes. kind of finish it off then so a lot of times i usually do when i'm working on people so if you take a brush like this and it's got a nice little flat edge on there and i take a tiny little bit of concealer but make sure you use concealer that's maybe one to two shades lighter than your face color don't use one that's super light because then it'll make it look like it's really it'll just it'll just won't blend very well so you just go in there with this little tiny brush 
and just go right underneath your eyebrow and fill it in. And that actually gives you the optical illusion of covering up those eyebrow hairs that maybe you haven't had time to pluck out or you haven't had a wax done, which I know that we're all in that right now because we haven't had any beauty services done. But it also just kind of helps really clean and define the eyebrow. And so you can make it a little bit more raised looking um, if you need that. If your eyebrows are a little bit you know, more straight, I mean, you can change the way that they look visually by just be doing that and then covering up those little eyebrow hairs that maybe you haven't quite had time to like pluck out or um, get waxed yet. Yeah, that looks really good. And then what about tips for the color you choose? I mean, do you want to match your eyebrow color exactly? So usually what I do is when I'm working on people, I usually suggest to do like two eyebrow colors because your eyebrow, is, as well as your hair, um, is not one solid color. So generally I blend. Um, so you want to find one and that's the way most of them come. Like if you, brow, if you buy an eyebrow color at the store, you know, they're going to have two colors. So you want to start by using one and then going through there and, um, you know, tapping it in and then doing your brush strokes and then go through and take the other color and then go through there and tap those brushes. Again, it's just gonna make it look more natural um, just because that's the way our natural hair is. But I always like to do a little bit darker, like just at the end, because a lot of times we just don't have as much hair down and through here and that'll just give it a little bit more definition and just define it a little bit better. Yeah, it looks great. That was really helpful. So thank you so much, Angelique, for joining us here today and teaching us these tips. Thank you very much, it was a lot of fun.